Hello and welcome. It's Heidi Dulaban, international cultural consultant and etiquette expert. Thank you for joining me today. We're going to talk about funeral visitation etiquette. You know, what could etiquette be about attending a visitation of someone who's lost their life? Well, let's just sum it up as being respectful. You know, we want to pay tribute to this person who's lost their life. You know, perhaps it was a friend, a colleague, a relative, and you want to attend the visitation. You want to pay respects to the deceased person, and you also want to visit and pay your respects to the family and very close friends. So they usually are uh, several hours long. You can choose when to get there. So unlike a funeral where you need to absolutely be early, a visitation you can come when it's suitable for you within the hours that the visitation is offered. Sometimes you'll have to wait in a long queue and that's okay. You just wait quietly and please silence all devices. It's inappropriate to be on a phone or taking pictures while you're in the queue at a visitation. So please put away all your devices and you just quietly wait in the queue. Perhaps you can talk softly to those around you. Perhaps you know other people in the queue. Or maybe it's just a nice time to reflect upon the deceased person and the interactions you had. So when you arrive and you get close to the family and then the family receives you, this is your opportunity to have a brief conversation with the family. And please do not monopolize their time. You can see that they're very, very busy. They are in a moment of deep grief. And frankly, they're just trying to hold it together. So be very pleasant and tell them something very nice about the deceased person. Maybe your favorite short story of this person whose life has been lost. The family would like to hear something. It can be something light. If, if it's you know, appropriate. It could be a nice light laugh. You know, it doesn't have to all be super serious, but, but this is not a party. This is not a time for belly laughs. This is just, you know, a little levity would be probably quite welcomed. So keep your story respectful and truthful and quick because there are others that want to share their stories as well. A visitation is not the time for you to air any maybe grievances you may have had with the deceased person or anything that is unpleasant like that. This is not about you. This is about the deceased person and the life they led and paying respects and supporting the family. The family is left and they need support and love, and that's why you stood in the queue and you are there at this visitation, to support the family and just simply say that. If you can, you know, be careful what you say. Please don't say some cliches like, I know how you feel. You do not. No one really knows how someone else feels. If you don't know what to say, simply say that. I'm at a loss for words. I'm heartbroken. I'm so sorry for your loss. That is, that is what people say. That is genuine. It's authentic. And the family will understand and they will accept that in the spirit in which you gave it from a place of love. So when you leave, please leave quietly. And you can have a chance to chat with other mourners there. And please just remember that this is truly about respect. Thank you for tuning in. I'm here for you. And everyone, as I always say, please, all of us, we all need to please be kind. Thank you.